Hello, welcome, my name is Jordan Shiko, and today's video, video, we're talking about unboxing this snoot. Um, if you don't know what a snoot is, basically it is a tool that restricts the light into certain shapes, and this one in particular is an optical snoot, which means that it has a lens that helps focus the light and you can get really sharp lines or really blurry lines with gobos and other kinds of shapes that you drop in. But let's get started. Now I will be having an example video and a full kind of overview and discussion about snoots coming soon. But today we're just gonna unbox it and see what's inside of this kit. So this snoot in particular is from Wellmaking. I have not used their product before, so I don't really have any um, background on that in particular. Um, I got off of Amazon and I got it for a shoot that I've already done actually, which was an interview and I wanted to create some shapes on the back wall behind the subject just to create a little bit more visual interest um, and maybe simulate some window light. Um, and I think it worked really well. Um, you probably can then tell that I've already actually opened this, but let's take a look at what is inside because there is a lot of goodies. So, got your basic instruction manual. Um, I didn't use it. But the big thing that it comes with are both gels, various colors, um, and then gobos. Now these are die cut metal sheets and they ha allow the light to pass through and then be focused with that lens to create the shapes on the wall. So this one really looks like blinds. Um, you can do just a regular slit, holes in the walls, a kind of a star pattern. Um, but these are incredibly useful and you can actually get kits of these that have a whole wide range of shapes. Um, I have seen people get like custom die cut uh, gobos made before for like their business logo and then be able to like project that on the wall behind them or something like that. Um, if you're familiar at all with theater production, gobos are really common to create like star shapes or you know sweeping um, light effects on the stage itself, um, but they are useful for filmmakers as well, especially if you're gonna do something like simulate window light coming through some shades. Now we're gonna just open this up. Now I did like how it was packed. I think it came pretty well packed actually. So well packed that when I was trying to get it out, this piece actually broke a little bit, but I'm keeping this all together because it's a really actually great way to transport the unit. Okay, so here we go. Here is the full snoot. So in here, just looking straight down, you can see that there is a lens. Now there is a little knob here and that knob allows you to move that lens forwards and backwards. And that's what allows you to actually focus it. And then you can kind of time that knob down to actually stick it in place. It is a, let me pull that back. It is a Bowens mount on here, so it fits on any of the monolite style lights, kind of like the um, GVMP 80S that I like to use a lot. Pretty much any of the aperture lights um, most use Bowens mounts, and that makes it very, very flexible, especially to integrate into a kit that you already have. Um, and then you got the little filter holder. Now, I actually didn't take this one out, so there are six of these. Um, this is more of the like little window pane. And so, all you do is you slide it in. Um, but this is the that holder, and if you want to put a gel on, you just kind of put the gel on top of that, put it in the little holder, and you slide that holder just into the unit. Um, you can also control the aperture some so that there is more of a shape or less of a shape, but I mean, really that's it. It's a pretty simple kit. Um, it just has the gobos, the gels, and the snoot itself, um, but that makes it also pretty portable and not too much to actually maintain. Um, I do really like it. I think it really looked good in what I used it for already. Um, I do, my only complaint so far is that I wish the focus knob was just a little tighter so that you could like really lock the lens in, but it's not like, an actual camera lens is not being moved around really, so it's not too much of a concern, at least at this point. Um, I'm gonna be using it some more, doing some tests with it for my upcoming examples video, um, and so I might have something more to report in my overall view of this optical snoot. Um, this was on the cheaper side, um, which was nice. Um, there are more expensive ones, I'm not exactly sure 
how the features compare, but I am pleasantly uh, pleased, <laughs> if you can say pleasantly pleased, I am pleasantly pleased with what this is for the price that it uh, was available for. Um, if you are interested in picking up one of these well-making um, optical snoots, you can find an affiliate link down in the description. Um, that helps support the channel at no cost to you. You can also find me at patreon.com slash trenoshiko and ko-fi.com slash trenoshiko for supporting these videos. Um, I do post some things that are just, you know, Patreon exclusives. Um, and also you can vote on upcoming video topics. Um, I am really excited to use this more and just kind of show what some of these shaping tools um, you know, the gobos can do with um, lots of different environments, put them on people's faces, all those kinds of things. Um, so I think this will be a really, really neat addition to my lighting kit. So if you have any questions at all about this well-making optical snoot, you can leave them in the comments down below and I'll try to answer them. Until next time, stay safe out there, take care of yourself, and have a great day.